and it's just really overwhelming like just imagine the biggest show you've ever been to and then 10x that that is what SEMA is all about What's going on guys, Kirk here from Motor Gear TV and as you guys can see, we're here in the Orlando airport. That's because today we're heading to Las Vegas for SEMA. It's going to be a long week. Got Mike here with me. Looking forward to it. Going to give you guys a different type of video, vlog style. Show you guys a little bit more personality. Keep things fun and enjoyable. We've got a lot to cover this week. But regardless, got my coffee. We're actually early for the flight. So stay tuned guys. Let's get started. No. Before we leave, look at how you efficiently pack. One suitcase, look what this guy have. Two suitcases plus a backpack. Guys, this is going to be a great trip. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Edit or try it or wait. Not a bit more, but it'll do. Viva Las Vegas, we're there. And good morning from sunny Las Vegas. Guys, we had a pretty early evening last night, but today we're fired up, we're charged up, got a coffee in hand, ready to go to the SEMA convention. Super excited. There's a lot of bills I really want to see, a lot of companies we really want to talk to. As you guys do know, we do have an online business, Motor Gear Garage. If you haven't seen it as yet, we do supply aftermarket parts for BMWs, any type of German vehicles you can think of. Today, it's really about getting as much in as we can. And the best thing about it, we can take you guys along for it. But before we get everything kicked off, the first order of business besides coffee is to get some fuel in the tank. So we're on the way to Chick-fil-A. Hopefully they still have breakfast. I'm not sure, but we'll see. All right, so just got to the show. We're here. The sunk is detailing as well. Say what up. Got Mark. I'm gonna capture some crazy b-roll trust me guys like if you've never been here this place is massive like trust me this is just one of the halls you guys can't even begin to understand just how big this place is but right now we're gonna go inside and see what's in store stop by the nototech booth we got dde's super trefeo huracan on display no, oh, this thing is just wild in person. I don't even think the camera is even picking up the color accurately. Now look at this thing. <laughs> I know it's like they do vinyl wraps, but some super high quality vinyl wraps. Look at all these different crazy. These are some of the new colors that they have. This one is pretty sick. The green. Got a Lamborghini Diablo on display some race cars i know you have alex choice wide body 720 the new satin silver wrap oh, this thing looks insane yo look at that you know it's really cool to see things that you see online in person like this wing next level and then look at the center exhaust yeah, active aero man himself guys <laughs> even his career gt Alright guys, I'm gonna keep it moving. Yeah, we got this G82 M4 by AA Concepts. Speed yellow. Wrap, it looks sick. What do you guys think of this one? I won't lie, you don't really see too many M4 builds, but I did want this one right. All right, so just yeah. made it into the North Hall. This is gonna be basically like tech, new exhibitors and business solutions. I'm gonna probably try to walk around and see if we see anything that kind of interests us. Uh, we are looking to grow the business, so being able to align ourselves with some new companies that can help to grow it, definitely gonna help us. 
also to make sure that we capture some sick cars we're looking mainly for bmws but anything that really pops up we're going to share it with you guys yeah look at this just some of the cool things you can capture this is a forged carbon drone this thing's massive and just imagine the type of videos you can get with this what do you think mark we need this yeah <laughs> ah, this is pretty sick making some more rounds in the show just stopped i had to check out this rs6 wagon the unique thing about this one is this one wasn't even available in the US. This is the previous gen R6 wagon. Wide body, carbon fiber, some pretty interesting looking wheels. Yeah. This is the one that everybody wants it but couldn't get. Pretty nice. I know this is a Porsche, I just don't know what type of Porsche is it, but trust me, next level. Look at the dish on this. Jesus, that's insane. <laughs> Yeah, man, imagine pulling up to a car show in this. It's crazy. So, uh, about to enter the next hall. This one is Central Hall, mainly hot rods, racing and performance, uh, restoration. Try and see you know, what we can find. Only 100? <laughs> nice. Got some pretty unique stuff, guys. All of these overseas manufacturers. So much to choose from. Stopping over at the Valtronic booth, they got a couple cars on display Lamborghini Aventador and also E92 M3. E92 M3, really nice livery on it. Yeah, what do you guys think of this one? Think Mark should do a livery on his car? Probably go fast, boys. Need some turbos just spotted something that looks really nice I'll show you guys but first look at this g87 m2 i want to say this is psi this is psi g87 we are new wrap on it the worst of wheels this thing was dumped and a crazy crazy wing on the back what do you guys think man really thinking about switching my car to this newer platform but still kind of iffy about it but every time i see them in person they look better and better all right, so you know how you have setups and then you have setups, guys. This is the worst time of booth, and trust me, when you want to talk about next level, man, look at this E46. And they did their new um, tribute aero case that they're really coming out with CSL trunk, rear diffuser in carbon fiber, four style of wheels, of course. Man, this is oh my god! Look at the recover seats. I don't know if you guys can see it. <laughs> carbon fiber bonnet, all new CSL style front end. Carbon fiber CSL style front lip, really nice. I like the air scoop in there as well. And this is really clean. I don't know guys, but for some reason the E46 just really speaks to me. All right guys, and just like that, day one is officially over. Man, if I tell you guys, I'm exhausted, trust me, it's a serious thing. We did so much walking, we met so much people, saw so many different unique builds. Can't wait for day two. I think we're going to have another early evening tonight. Mark, any thoughts? It's definitely not an event that you can walk through in one day. So we're glad we have a couple of days to check everything out. But honestly, yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be good. Yeah. We'll check back in tomorrow. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. seen a bit like this especially a wagon amazing quality like fire orange is lava orange or fire orange fire orange. it's a fire orange paint i think this was done by samuel's auto body this was a build done by psi in collaboration with bill steen and peter paddock really sick everything is oem plus in my opinion you got bbs wheels you got static brakes inventory plenum the caro seats even the engine is a yeah. stroker from carbon yeah this is a this is a 4.4 4.6 wheel yeah, this is a stroker motor I think it's it's a really good example of what BMW should have made when they thought about the E91 yeah. wagon. Because guys, this doesn't exist. This is a custom build. It's crazy to see the amount of attention to detail that goes into creating something like this. 
it honestly looks just like factory like all of the panels and everything that seems like in line with each other yeah the way the way they blended the body lines right here let's look at that 295 ebs e88 yeah and then coming around to the back nice details on the spoiler right here and then it has the Akrapovic exhaust <laughs> This is what you call the ultimate daily driver. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we just got to the race booth and we just noticed this nice G8 M3. Kirk, what do you think about it? Uh, it looks really nice. Again, another OEM Plus build, my kind of style. Slammed on these new G25 wheels. Black Sapphire metallic paint. CSL style trunk. I think that looks really nice. Carbon diffuser. Carbon side skirts. Fitment on the front is A1. And the real centerpiece of this car. Go to the front, new Adro front bumper. And also carbon hood. Yeah, from Alpha N. They left this piece exposed. Really, really nice attention to detail. Yeah, guys, this car is it's really clean. The tint's, the tint's dark too. Yeah. Mind the business tints. <laughs> All right, so just made another stop at the Wagner tuning booth. We're here with the G87 M2, built by IND Distribution. Another OEM Plus, you know, really nice retro styling to it. Got the HRE classic wheels on it. A whole lot of carbon from Alpha N. Check out the interior, CSL. Manual, of course. Probably very controversial no matter how you do it with the rear end, also end carbon spoiler, you know, same rear bumper, but also a nice rear diffuser, also done in carbon. I think it adds a more aggressive touch to it. But again, it's going to be very subjective to your style. Me personally, I'm a fan of it. What do you guys think? It's a super tired, but we just pulled up on another G87 build. This one is by Ram Air. Got a really nice livery to it. I think it's like a cream off white with satin black, all black road form wheels, satin face, glass black lip. I think all of the carbon is also by TRE and Auto ID. I want to say this is their the Ram Air system. Looks pretty clean. I do love the little carbon accents on it. Really nice with the kit. You know, not too much. You know, very subtle, but still very cool. If you guys can see on the interior, I got the carbon buckets, also a little half gauge. Even with this carbon spoiler, not too aggressive. I think it looks okay. What do you guys think? Tire tread pass. I'm gonna check out some of these cars. I already see a wicked G82 M4. Sick piece of work wheels. Oh, white body too. Wow. Transmission. Transmission HGT sequential full race car shell. It's done three successful seasons in Lithuania. And the only thing it came with was the wheels, the suspension. The suspension's been modified now. It has hydraulic lift on the suspension. Everything else is made in-house by Goichi Motors, except for the headers. These things were designed in the Netherlands by Celery Tech. Basically, we put a mock-up motor in there, 3D scanned the engine bay, and then it was eight months back and forth between Goichi Motors and Celery Tech to get the headers to fit. And they guaranteed that if the headers didn't fit, they would fly out and make them fit. Um, fortunately, they did, because it was three weeks before the show. It took eight hours to fit this one. 
and 12 hours to fit the other one just because of how fiddly it was with the bolts, but they did fit. So the engine's built to 1800 horsepower. Um, with the supercharged? Pro-charged, yeah. And so, but it's built to that, it's going to be running between 1200 to 1500 horsepower. This color looks crazy. Yeah. Sometimes you don't really need a lot, you just need the right. Yeah. One thing about SEMA, they have some insane builds. They even look at this mini truck. Just wrapped up day two. As you guys can see, sitting down, chilling, waiting for Mark to use the bathroom, exhausted and beyond it. Definitely very fun. Did get to see most of the show. I think we pretty much covered 90% of it. Got to see the wheel, tires, suspension, some really sick builds. Got to start Tavares' P1, a host of other builds. I really think it was worth it, but legs tired, hungry, thirsty, everything. Tomorrow is going to be the final day day three so you guys gonna stick around for the finale and let's keep it going all right so the show is winding down pretty quickly now i think we'll have like maybe an hour left i was gonna probably check out the south hall see what's going on in there um this should be wheels and suspension really enjoyed the experience so far it's been amazing happy that I'm able to share this experience with every one of you guys. I know we probably won't capture majority of the cars that were here, but I think we got some of the best ones, honestly. You know, between the BMW builds and the supercars and the exotics and the JDMs and a really good assortment. So today you got the wife with me, say hi wife. Hi. <laughs> yeah, man, it was really overwhelming. Like, just imagine the biggest show you've ever been to and then 10x that. That is what SEMA is all about. gonna wrap it up SEMA 23 was an amazing experience you know not really much else to say it was a long long week but I think we got a lot accomplished you know made some good connections you know definitely saw a lot of crazy bills very inspiring and I think this is gonna set the tone for 2024 so you guys definitely want to stay tuned for that but as usual if you guys like this type of content we're gonna try and do more vlog style so make sure you like share and subscribe tune in for the next one but as usual you know the drill until then we're gone later I don't want to lie across the line, yeah Baby, know you fine, come through tonight, yeah Long as I'm alive, I make you mine, yeah Move your body, shake